Hey guys, you know about two years ago we had a major windstorm here and it knocked out the power all over southern Oregon here for about five days and we uh, we have a wood stove so heat was not a problem um, I do have a, a rain catchment system so we had water for flushing and things like that and I had water in you know saved up in storage and stuff like that so we did okay but what we didn't really have was electricity except for our our gas powered generators now I like those generators they're great because you fire them up and they'll provide you I have a 6500 watt and I have an 800 watt but over a five day period you're gonna run out of gas gasoline and one of my generators had a problem and so you know what I, I decided then and there I was going to nix the idea of gas powered energy because I just don't like it. Now the, the reason I don't like it, I'm going to put into another video because I've gotten into some discussions. I have one friend that I love dearly but he is all about gas because it's so efficient he says and whatnot and I'm all about electrical. I have electric, you know, a, a battery operated lawnmower and stuff like that but I'm going to do another video on that. But anyways after that big storm I went down and I said I'm going to get me just a cheap uh, 50, 60 watt or whatever solar system that I can hook up just to charge some some batteries and, and just you know just in case I want to charge my phone or something like that. Now I do have those little fold out ones that I've done reviews on and they're they're awesome I love them but it'd be nice to have a little bit more power than that something to, to charge up some uh, some you know maybe big 12 volt marine batteries or golf cart batteries and so what I did was I went down because I don't I don't really know much about solar. And so I went down and I got me this Harbor Freight 45 watt. It's got three panels of 15 watts each. A 45 watt solar kit. Now I got this two years ago. <laughs> it's that procrastination thing. It's been sitting on a shelf for two years. Uh, and we really haven't had any power outages in two years. But I figured it was time for me to get my button gear and put this thing together. So I'm going to do a few videos on it. The first one is going to be basically what you get with the kit. But uh, when, when they call us a kit though, here's the deal. I don't think it's a kit in my opinion because let me show you what, it, what you get with this. You get the three panels. I'm not going to take them out of the thing right now until I start to put them together. But you get one, two, three panels. And you do get a couple sockets that plug into this charge controller. So you get the charge controller, the three panels, you get two sockets to plug into here for lights, and you get the lights here, like this, and then you get various cabling to hook up to batteries, to hook up to, you know, hook them together and plug it into uh, the charge controller and stuff. You don't get an awful lot with this system, which I, I understand for the price, 150 bucks or whatever it was, it was a couple years ago, I can't remember how much I paid for it. At any rate, uh, to me, a kit would be something where you could snag the energy, you could store it. Now, this will give you 45 watts, which isn't very much at all, uh, but they really don't give you a way to store it. Now, I do have, and I'm going to show, the, show you the reason why I got this kit, because I have two large battery packs that have the uh, sockets on it, and it has a USB port, and it, you can jump your car with it. I think everybody has seen those, and I love them. I've got, I've got, I've got three of them, actually. Two of them of one brand and one of another. <clears throat> but anyways, I, I, that's what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to hook those up to the solar panels and charge those big three big battery banks. But this is just an introduction into solar because the more I've been researching it and the more I've been talking to people that are into solar, this is a really basic system. But it's a wonderful system for people that want to get into solar and don't know anything about it like me. This was my first introduction to solar besides my, my little ones that are just little self-contained fold-out that I take around if I'm going to go camping or something like that and I can charge my phone and little battery packs. But there's something, in my opinion, totally different. Um, so anyways, I've got this all taken apart. Now, they, I've got it out of the box, in other words, and the box just, I don't know where that went two years ago. I just, <laughs> but anyways, there's one thing about this that I don't like, and it's the stand that comes with it. Now, the stand... I'm going to, let me get up and I'll grab the stand and set it up here and I'll give you a little wider angle. Okay, so this here is the stand. And when you put this, this bad boy together, I mean, you, once it's together even, 
you can hear it creaking. And they've got these little notches. You can adjust this for different angles and whatnot. But, I mean, this thing, I mean, look at that. This, I think you can understand why this thing, to me, is a piece of crap. Now, I, I've seen people on, on YouTube put, put them together, and they put the panels on this, and it seems to hold just fine. But, I mean, you got these little bolts that they give you with these little wing nuts and whatnot. To me, I mean, to me, that's junk. That's, that's going in the trash. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a nice wooden frame for this. Okay, so yeah, that frame is that frame is going away. I mean, I look at that frame and I think, oh wow, that's that's great. I'll go ahead and put the panels on it, and then some extra security. I'll just wrap some dental floss around it <laughs> to keep it down. I mean, I, what did, what are they thinking? I just I don't I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, I would like to see the statistics of how many of these panels go flying in the wind when when something comes along, because that that's just that's a no go in my opinion. That's to me that's just a waste of. A waste of time. Uh, stay tuned, and I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be shooting the video on pulling this all apart and setting it all up. And it's it should only take. I mean, building the stand is going to be the biggest thing. That's going to be my next video is building the stand, and then hooking this all up. It should hook up you know in a breeze. Uh, I thought about maybe hooking it or uh, attaching it to the roof, but I don't want to put it on the roof because I want to be able to have easy access to it. I want to be able to tilt it. I want to, you know, do all those things. And it, up on the roof, if I have any problems, I got to climb up there and I just don't want to do that. I don't also don't want to screw into my roof. Uh, so it's going to go on the ground and I'm going to run the cables from the ground and I'm going to have the station for the electrical station into the garage here. So that's going to be another video too. So, all right, so stay tuned for all that and we're going to give this thing a go finally after two years. So, all right. Well, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you later.